Hey everyone, welcome back to Job Car. I'm Shabana and I'm here with a new video. And today we will discuss about Accenture mass hiring for all the graduates or and post graduates from the batch of 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. But before that, I want to request you all to subscribe to Job Car for more job related update and placement preparation related videos as we upload videos on daily basis. So this will definitely gonna help you if you are. Uh, searching for a job and uh, want to work with your uh, dream company then this will definitely gonna help you to subscribe to job car and share it with your friends and family okay so with that note we will start today's video so accenture is hiring for the uh, like they have announced mass hiring and this is the biggest mass hiring so all the job seekers who are out there this is the really good opportunity for yourself so watch the video till the end and grab the chance for this uh, job okay so uh, if accenture is hiring for two roles basically one is for associate software engineer that is for engineering graduates and um, second is for system and application services associate that is for all the other technical graduates so this will cover all the graduates uh, whether it is from technical or non-technical okay so we will discuss about both the jobs okay so here uh, accenture was hiring for system and application services associate from last few uh, few months uh, we can say uh, recently i have uploaded a, a video many videos about that uh, okay but uh, they have now uh, receiving the application for 2022 batch also okay so first we will see uh, the uh, about the uh, application uh, system and application services associate job and the link will be in the description box so if you want to apply you can apply them first we will see the description so uh, the job description uh, job role is system and application services associate this is about accenture if you want you can um, learn about accenture role overview join our team that improve the way our clients and the, the world works working in challenging and dynamic environment using their versatility to create and support solutions that meet client requirement from analysis to implementation okay what will be what will be do so they have given their streams like there will be app and cloud engineering project control services low and no no app uh, no code app development and test automation engineering what we need to do so this is all about their uh, uh, like what you will do as a system and application services associate Ex accenture so you can go through all these uh, details they have mentioned here okay now we will uh, move to the eligibility criteria okay so all streams or branches of mcm msc ma mcon mfa bsc bca bba ba bcom bba and b was bms another 2019 2020 and 2021 and 2022 graduates with full-time education only part-time and distance education are not considered okay so these four batches are eligible so you are from any other uh, like uh, you have completed uh, your graduation in in these four batches then you can apply for this application okay only be btech me mtech and mca and msc from csit branches mba pgd vm candidates are not eligible so these uh, graduations are graduation taker not eligible uh, all other graduate are eligible for this job okay and no active backlog during application and or during onboarding next is maximum year gap is education post is standard till at completion of graduation candidate should not have appeared for accenture recruitment or assessments or interview process in the last three months okay so if you have not taken the uh, assessment or if you have not gone till interview then you can uh, apply for uh, this off campus hiring okay if you have applied and you have not taken the assessment then also you can apply for this uh, off campus hiring okay candidate should not have more than 11 months of experience if you have any experience then that should not uh, go beyond 11 months okay candidate must be eligible to work in india either by citizenship or have relevant work permit document 
एंड प्लीज नोट दैट भूटान एंड नेपाल नेशनल्स कैन वर्क इन इंडिया विदाउट आर नीड फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग अ वर्क वीज़ा एंड ऑल अदर फॉरन नेशनल्स रिक्वायर वर्क वीज़ा और एन ओवरसी सिटीजनशिप ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज़ ओ आई सी और अ पर्सन ऑफ इंडिया ओरिजिन पी आई ओ कार्ड टू वर्क इन इंडिया ओके एंड एज बी प्रोवाइड सर्विस फॉर आर क्लाइंट्स अक्रॉस दी ग्लोब वी एक्सपेक्ट यू टू वर्क टू बी फ्लेक्सीबल टू वर्क अक्रॉस डिफरेंट टाइम जोन एंड शिफ्ट ओके एंड यू आर फिलिंग टू वर्क बिलिंग टू वर्क इन एनी बिजनेस यूनिट सर्विस लाइन विद इन दी कंपनी एंड यू आर विलिंग टू ज्वाइन और रिलोकेट टू एनी एक्सेंचर ऑफिस इन इंडिया ओके सो दीज ऑल आर दी कंडीशन एंड दीज ऑल आर दी एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया सो इफ यू डो नॉट हैव एनी एनी ऑफ दी लाइक डिफिकल्टी इन ऑल दीज थिंग्स देन यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर दिस जॉब ओके दिस इज a really good opportunity for all the batches because accenture was hiring for 2019 2020 and 2021 batch uh, before also but uh, this is the first opportunity for 2022 batch so this is a really good opportunity for all these four batches and especially for 2022 okay and the application uh, deadline is 16th of june okay so this is going to be really really far but i would uh, suggest you to apply as soon as possible because if the application go beyond the limit then they will close the application could close taking the application so then uh, we do not have any uh, like uh, anything to do with that so just apply as soon as possible okay now process so if you are eligible you will receive an email or invitation to online assessment so first you need to apply for register yourself for this job then you will receive the uh, online assessment link okay the assessment is scheduled in two stages and must be completed within the scheduled timeline okay so uh, that will be in two stages and you should complete that within the timeline then you will uh, uh, at the time of assessment you will first have your mock assessment that will be of 10 minutes and mock assessment is mandatory uh, so they have mentioned that mock assessment is mandatory but i got a comment that uh, one of the candidate did not give the mock uh, assessment but uh, still he could make it to uh, like he could able to give the uh, main assessment okay so they have mentioned that it is mandatory so please do not uh, skip it because uh, maybe they will not allow you to uh, like this is uh, totally on to them so you should be able to uh, do the mock assessment okay it will ensure that you have the right hardware and software on internet okay and assessment will be get you to experience the assess uh, like the main assessment okay then you will have your cognitive assessment that will be of 50 minutes okay and they will uh, questions from english ability critical thinking and problem solving and abstract reasoning and your cognitive assessment results you will get within 5 to 10 minutes post completion and you are advised to remain seated and await result and technical assessment comes immediately post result notification and technical assessment is an optional round and this is not an elimination round okay so if you want you can take to the technical assessment and if you even if you get uh, uh, like if you not clear the technical assessment then also you will be able to give your communication assessment if you clear cognitive assessment okay then technical assessment is is an optional round that will be of 40 minutes and you will be uh, ask the question from common application and ms office pseudo course fundamental of networking security and fundamentals of cloud and i have made a video of that like previously years question so if you uh, if you want then you can watch uh, those videos so that will be helpful for you third you will have your communication assessment and the duration of uh, communication assessment will be approximately 30 minutes and i have also made a video on communication assessment for accenture you can watch that too if you uh, are interested okay and they will ask question from sentence mastery vocabulary fluency and pronunciation okay and if you clear communication assessment then you will have your interview interview will be uh, like uh, mostly on non technical uh, basis they mostly ask non technical question i have made uh, so many videos on accenture interview for this role if you are uh, interested you can watch them also okay 
uh, so this is all for this of campus hiring for system and application services associate we will cover associate system engineer in a, in a different video because this is going to be a large video okay so if you want to apply for this job role then uh, the link will be in the description box you need to fill this registration form which is there and if you face any difficulty then you need to click here and there will be more so more details about registration and you can get help from there okay so the link will be in the description box do apply for this job and this is all all are the eligible for 2019 2020 2021 and 2022 batch okay so this is all for this job update if you are eligible apply and if you do not eligible then uh, share it with uh, who can apply whoever can apply for this job okay so that's all for today's uh, job update i'll be coming back with more such kind of videos of course you need to just like share and subscribe to job i'll be coming back with more such kind of videos till then take care and bye bye